Oh, tape. Gotta, yeah, he wants his finger enlarged. It's <laughs> <laughs> the new enlargement technique. Just you know, one fancy. of my friends, since I got into this, has been sending me links about how it m makes it bigger. Was that what happened? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck happened, <laughs> but... Oh, shit! Oh, man! Things I do. <laughs> oh god here we are in beautiful herford arizona sunday morning coming down it's hot it's supposed to be 95 degrees in bisbee oh fuck not today in a couple days but still that means 100 here 110 it was 95 on the last job i did yesterday so we got a job underneath the back stairs here already stung the lady in the arm not good and they, she says they just moved in we're gonna find out like usual who knows how long they've been there but we got our flashlight, we got all of our tools. Right now it's exploratory. We're gonna go look at it. It's just people get stung every day down here. So we hear about it all the time. All day long. And we got stories to tell. Police, fire, rescued everybody. So now we're gonna look at the see what the bees. The bees can find uh, the bullseye on uh, Julio's crotch. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should start calling your bee protection silver stingers. Silver stinger? Sounds like a drink. It does. That kind of silver stinger. They're already on us. I mean, they're out. Yeah. Flashlight's on, huh? Thank you. Wait, can we rip this? Uh, yes. Oh, wait, let's see if they're up there first and how big it is. Well, do we know where they're coming in from? In here? This uh, hole? Really? In that case, um, can we pull that gray board on the right down? Right there, yep. Pull that off. Okay, there we go. You know what? I'll take the flashlight and take a look so I can assess okay. it. Oh yeah, typical. Yep. All right, we need this uh, uh, exacto blade so we can cut that back. Okay. And it'll fall down, and we can see the extent, the extent over the end. Could you bring a um, can I, can I see? something to lay on, Julio? And I'm gonna get this out of here, honey. I'm gonna get this out of here. What is that? Dirt. Yeah. This is just dirt. Yeah, this is uh, came from a flower pot. <laughs> I have a question, is it pack rat shit yeah. or dirt? It's dirt. Okay. Not dirt. Yeah, that's great actually. Oh, this is just from the installation the sagging down, right? Exactly. They so, love to live under this. We do them all the time. So we're gonna fit it. Yeah, so you can extend it out a ways. Just we don't want to cut any cords or wires. So, so we're gonna tear it out? Uh, yeah. Uh get here a flashlight. Do you need a flashlight right mm -hmm. Now what I always do is cut. Uh, yep, that's it. There you go. Now, pull that down and pull that up. Now look up in there. See what you see. Uh, you see. A bejas? A uh, bejas right here. Una bala? Check it out. Okay. You see it right here? Oh. They're barely uh, put, making foam. But... Oh, really? They just started? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's pretty nice. <laughs> Why don't we get a uh, bucket? Yeah. And uh, and I'm I'm just gonna reach in and pull yeah, it grab out. It. Yeah, yeah, grab it. Okay, let me get a view of it. Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. Here's okay. flashlight. Thank it's you. a perfect little hive. I'm so glad they caught it when it was new. It's very beautiful. Oh, there they are. Right them? They're like right here, huh? Yep. Yeah, and they did just move in. Okay, that's probably the best view I'm gonna get for this tight spot. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh, you know what I will need is that drum. Oh, I'm gonna cut it so it'll be easier to not, to get out any any brunch Sunday brunch. We have pollen and wild rare honey pollen, rarest brunch in the world, right, hon? That's right. Because why? Because this is what we do for a living. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. <laughs> gonna be more expensive. Because <laughs> we're good. Because we're good. What was that? Because we're good. I can't hear you. Because we're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> because we're lucky and we have access. Yeah, we're the only ones. Okay, here we go. 
Mm-hmm. That is nice. Boy, these things are hard to do anything with. Ouch! Hurt. There we go. That's okay. Well, watch this. Here we go. Yep. So when you're doing this, you want to pull gently up against the wood uh -huh. so you can get all oh, wow. of that out of there. Nice. Look at that. I'm going to shake a bunch off so they don't get stuck in there. We'll make it easier for us to stick. Make it easier for us to stick. Okay, now you guys all go fly away. Go on. Go on, get. Now I'm going to reach up in there, make sure we got it all. Seems okay, no, a little bit more. Okay, a lot more. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, I've been there for a little bit. Look at that. Well, it's kind of a nice calm little removal, huh? Hey. That is going to be gorgeous. Right? <coughs> oh my god. Oh, look at that. One fell, a little bit fell, but it's still there. Oh, look at that. Holland. No! Nice. Down, Julio, down! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna run away. <coughs> Come back with that pollen, you bastard! Nope. Well, they've been there longer than a couple days, unless... Look at this. Unless these guys are just building at the most incredible record rate ever. Look at that. All that was there? Yeah, all that was in there. Isn't that amazing? So I think if people really, really paid attention to your removals in each video, yep. they would probably realize that you're not so bad after all. Yeah, I am. I'm an asshole. <laughs> I'm a basshole. That's what we should call it when we go fishing. I'm a basshole. <laughs> basshole? <laughs> <laughs> so now... Um, we can take that away actually. Let's take right. some of these out. So that we can... Yeah, I'll get them. Okay. And um, uh, I guess, can you give me a, a, a spray adhesive? That's right there, Here you go. Oh, okay, thank you. Here's a turning too. Thank you. So we're just going to knock down a bunch of these and make it safe here for these people. Total non-toxic on this one. Depends on how bad they are. Mm -hmm. Right? If we need to, we do. Right? We do what we need to do. So, main thing, kids out there in Wonderland, makes you wonder, I know. Uh, don't try this at home. Just please don't. Mm -hmm. It's stupid. Don't try to seal up the holes by yourself. No, just don't do it. Just, it it's just too... They have too many escape routes. If these bees, there's enough to kill couple three dozen horses here it's just ridiculous like the bumblebee house yeah we've gone back since fall about 12 times and they keep finding new holes yep yep they're amazing so now of course we're doing our undercoating to hide mask where they were also we're gonna mask their front door here so the new ones won't think it's so pretty go and keep these wonderful folks safe so this is a very straightforward bee removal at least for us yep. if you uh, haven't done it for 30 years you're uh, you can get in real trouble real quick yep so that was it folks yay we did another one now we're gonna a bunch more we have one at an airport we're gonna do in a little bit another airport but this time we get a plane ride oh, I'm gonna send Amanda up Whee! Yeah, with you. Four seater, and I'm gonna go two, right? Yeah, right. All right, my love. <laughs> so let's get her cleaned up. Okay. See you guys out there. Bye, Killer Bee Nation. <laughs>